Do you love shooting? Then in recent years you've discovered, if you didn't already know it, it's not about the guns, it's about the ammo. And it doesn't matter if or how many guns you have, if you don't have ammo or can't get it, you're SOL. Now, you could own a Rolls Royce or Lamborghini, and if you can't find gas, you're not driving anywhere. Now, there's a lot of factors involved when ammo becomes scarce, and I have made many videos many videos on how and when to buy ammo and they get little interest or few viewers now one of the things that does help is simply more ammo available and being produced a surplus of ammo on the market will always cause prices to drop and they're beginning to drop now now over the years many of us lowered our standards and purchased ammo you know that is not what we typically feed our guns in much of it was foreign and often not brass case boxer prime desperate times called for desperate measures now there is a newer company called america's ammunition company or aac and they are made right here in the united states in columbia south carolina now they have been expanding at an exponential rate and expanded to three different calibers already and that's just the beginning guys well, let's take a look at their nine millimeter full metal jacket um, is that's what a lot of you are looking for most of the time how does it perform only one way to find out check it out <laughs> I'm Drew Case, welcome to Beyond Seclusion where I only give you my honest opinion and it is what it is. Now before I get into this review, I need to address the elephant in the room. I always say it is what it is and I'll only give you my honest opinion. And that is solid. Now for transparency purposes, AAC does sponsor me and provides me a majority of my ammo for most of my reviews. Now with that being said, if you watch my reviews, you see how the ammo performs right next to all the competition and all the other different types of ammo that I use and you see the groups for yourself. So I've had reviews and you know I've discovered that different guns like different ammo and if you follow my reviews yeah I've had some guns that you know really didn't like uh, some of my 223 AAC um, but by and large you know it's performed really well. Now what I want to do is 9 millimeters, hands down one of my favorites it's what a lot of people are looking for. Let's test the three 9 millimeter full metal jackets that AAC makes get some groups speeds to get the chronograph out and then you decide for yourself what you think now, now to test the three different bullet weights i'm going to use my ruger pc here with a 16 inch barrel and it's got a 1 and 10 right hand twist with a nikon tactical 223 1.5 to 4.5 times 20 scope yeah i know it's a 223 but it, it worked perfect for for this and actually um, this gun is a tack driver with the 9 mil. I took it all the way out to 400 yards. Now, I did start off my review with a different, uh, I guess you would call it lower or back end. Um, it had a custom trigger in it and I was kind of experiencing some, some light primer strikes, which I know is not an issue with, with the AACs because I've shot thousands of rounds. So anyway, I switched barrels. I kept the barrel and put it on here and kind of moved stuff around. Doing that, fix the problem. You'll see for yourself the groups. Now for the pistol, I'm gonna use my PSA dagger here with a 3.9 inch stainless steel barrel, also with a one and 10 twist. And it's got the, the Primary Arms Classic Series red dot, uh, the new, brand new, working on that review, mini reflex sight that comes out, uh, I think the middle of 
this month. Watch for that review. Let's just start off with checking for consistency of the speeds with the three different loads. Quick, I was just going to show you because I, I had noticed on some of the reviews, you know, there was kind of some complaining about the packaging and how the boxes showed up. Um, you know, they are kind of loose in there. You open up and you've got basically they're stacked like this. Okay, and then I already used up most of those, and then you just go to the next group. Okay, for me, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I really could care less how they're in there, um, you know, if they're just simply loose in the box. But just wanted to address, uh, you know, any potential concerns or issues that people might have. 1434, 1458. 1454, 1469, and 1430. Yeah, that's pretty consistent. Um, let's put it in the pistol and see what we get with the pistol. Okay, so we got the dagger here. Let's see what we get for speed with the pistol. Ah, and it gave us an error. Okay, let's try again. I really tried reaching out to Caldwell to see if I could get uh, their newer one. This is this is really old, but hey, uh, we'll give it a go here. Let's try again. Man, it's giving me 1166, 1202. Ah. 1178, 1151, 1195. Oh, we got through the 115. Um, those seem to be fairly consistent. 124 grain. Hopefully, we can get through without a whole bunch of errors. 1356, 1395, 1394. 1367 1366 for whatever reason um it's it, <laughs> it likes the rifle 867 1180 1174 1194 1144 1151 um boy that ate something either that was a malfunction on that or we just had a really bad round okay let's just try the 147 grain 996 1039 1043 1034 1012, 1041. Let's try the pistol. 920. 920. 938. 902. 936. 958. You know, I mean, it's an older chronograph from Cadwell, Caldwell. Um, anyway, tried to get my hands on the latest and the greatest, but hey, it, it's been pretty consistent in the past. I, uh, I did switch my hearing protection. I'm working on the Axle, the GS 2.0 Extreme. Um, so far, I'm really liking them. I, I've never been a big fan of in the ears, but I like these. Um, you know, they're really low profile, and so far, they're doing a fantastic job. So I'm going to be wearing these for you know, probably quite a few reviews, giving them a good test, especially when I get the 5.56. Five, you know, I want to see if that's, uh, if that's really cutting the sound out. But so far, doing great. Okay, so I got the 115 grain. Um, I changed my mind. I'm going to do 15 shot groups. Uh, you know, just a little bit. Sometimes more is better, right? All right, let's... Uh, Let's see how we do here. All 
All right. There we go. Let's go 124 grain. <laughs> it likes the 124 grain better than it does the 117. Pretty much one big hole. All right, let's try 147. All right, let's go take a look at those groups. There you go, guys. I've shot, you know, a lot of 9 mil, a lot of PCs, about every PC and AR pistol in 9 mil, about everything out there that you can. So that's our 115 grain. That's 15 shots. You know, that's solid. I did notice this thing likes to run hot barrel. So I watched them come down and finish about here. And then the same thing with the 124 grain. That was the first shot. And then the second shot, and then it just it just walked itself down. Um, yeah, that's awesome. Really like the 124 grain. And then the 147 grain, actually, that kind of surprised me. Usually, I get my tightest groups with 147. Um, I have in the past, but not on this one. Anyway, um, let's have a little fun on some steel at some distance. Hey folks, are you enjoying this review? If you are, help support the channel. Hit that subscribe button. This helps more than just about anything. It's simple, quick, costs you nothing. Not a zip, zero, nothing. So hit that button. Keep the reviews coming. Now, if you have not visited my webpage, you should for many reasons, like my discount codes for some of the great companies, including ammo, guns, and gear. I have a list of the companies that I use the most and recommend. At the bottom of the page is a list of current discount codes ranging anywhere from 5 to 15% off anything in your cart. Now, you should be interested in my crazy, stupid deal subscription. Here are some of the deals that I found in the past. And when I find these, I now have the ability to share in an instant with everyone that subscribes. And I blast them out in an email as soon as I find them. It costs you nothing. Unsubscribe at any time. I have saved folks hundreds, even thousands of dollars. Don't take my word. Read the comments. It works. It's awesome. And it costs nothing. If you follow my channel and you shop on Amazon, you can help support and keep the reviews coming by going on to Amazon through my link. Anything and everything you purchase by doing so helps support the channel. You can literally buy toilet paper through my link and it helps support the channel and the reviews. Simply save the link to your phone or your computer and shop as you always do. And check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to lose. Literally thousands have found them helpful. Read the reviews and see for yourself. Here and check out the cooking tips page. There are some awesome recipes on there. Good food and it can literally save you thousands of dollars a year. Thanks for your help. Couldn't do it without you. Okay, let's, uh, let's try a little... Let's have a little fun, 124 grain, 200 yards. This should be, this should be really easy. <laughs> okay, proof's in the pudding. Now let's try 300. So after playing around and doping the scope, um, I needed to 
let the barrel cool and double check my zero. This is the 115 grain. I re-zeroed it for the 115 grain because that's what I'm, I, I use the most to play with. That's a 10 shot group. And here's another one, 10 shot group. Guys, it doesn't get any better than this. I don't think with nine millimeter. There you have it guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that subscribe button. It really does help the most. Like and comment. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Um, remember, every time we're on the range and we're shooting, you, me, we're ambassadors for the Second Amendment. So be a safe and responsible gun owner.